we are at the beach right now. The light is still working in this place, so I don't even need my own light. Now I want to check the rest of the light. No way! Hey guys, welcome back on Explomo. We made our way to our new destination of today. The weather is beautiful outside. I'm today with a friend of mine, Jan, and we are visiting probably one of the best spots that are possibly right here, right now in Belgium. You guys are gonna love it and stay tuned for this amazing video. All right, about the last location, it didn't work out guys. We couldn't get in. But we found, if yeah, we found, we are at the beach right now and yeah, we are really enjoying. We took some rest, it was a long drive, we drove for four hours and right now we're just enjoying this beautiful view at the Belgian coast. Alright, so we took some rest and right now it's time to go further. We're gonna do some additional explores. Some nice houses, some sea houses, you're gonna like it, so stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, so we finally made it to our first success of this day. We made it our way into this abandoned beach house. It's a very small house, but I'm gonna guide you around, show you every little detail in this house, so enjoy watching this video. Okay, so this is where we came in. This was the sleeping room of the people. And I think these people had pretty bad health conditions because there are some medicines in this cabin a little clock and you can see they definitely loved sailing there's out of a boat over here is a painting of a cat too bad it's broken though another piece of art on the ceiling what can we find in this wardrobe? Oh, man. These people left literally everything. All their clothes are still in the wardrobe. Actually, they are beautiful clothes. They are so colorful with flowers and everything. Definitely what you expect from people living very close to the beach. All right, we continue our way in the small house. As you can see, we can also enter the attic. Let's do that for the last. There was a second sleeping room. It's a quite modern house, not very DK. Oh. These look like some x-rays. Over here. We find a Singer sewing machine, but actually the letters of Singer, they are faded. I only know it because of this emblem that is from Singer. Wow, this is such a colorful room, I really like it. Also, in this wardrobe, there are still some pieces of clothes left. But I really like this giant leather suitcase on top of the bed. 
Looks like these people had to move out or it was their holiday house. I really don't know, to be honest. Oh, as you can see, the suitcase is empty, guys. So it's possible that this was just their holiday house and these people died of old age. There was a toilet. Wow. And this was the living room of the people. And it's stuffed, guys. This place is stuffed. What we always do if we are in an abandoned location in Belgium is check out if the lights still work. So <laughs> let's check it out. No. No way. That light bulb switched on. Oh, the other one as well. Oh my god. Guys, the light is still working in this place, so I don't even need my own light. Now I want to check the rest of the light. Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> even in the kitchen, the light is still working. Okay, that's fortunate for me. Then I don't need my loom cube to light this place up. This is incredible. Okay, so this was the kitchen of the people who lived in this place. You can see they definitely loved liquor. There's a lot. Some old letters. This was their working desk, maybe. Let's check all these cabins. Wow. Some jars. Ooh, that is very moldy. It doesn't smell, fortunately, but that's some mold on these cans. I'm gonna close this one again. Some other kitchen equipment. Look at this Maroshka doll. Let's switch off the light again. And let's explore this beautiful living room. <laughs> Can't believe I don't even need to use my light. Small table here. Ah, oh, and these are actually the numbers of the TV channels which are on there. And there is actually a beautiful television. A very old school one. I think it's from the years 1990 possibly. Some books in the shelves. These people definitely loved reading and if this was their holiday house, they would just like to have a drink as we already saw, read a book and play some music. These are some LPs. And they are all, the whole LP collection is still where it belongs. Beautiful. I think this one is really funny. It's Tukan. Actually open this. And you can place something in it. I don't know what they place inside of it, but if you guys know, leave it down in the comment section because it makes me really curious what they use this for. Oh. <laughs> this is also very funny. Song. This is a religious book, I think. Some letters, some files. That's a modern wooden wardrobe. And these are definitely some fake flowers. Flowers wouldn't survive this house being abandoned. 
since actually 2011. 2011 this house got abandoned in August. The calendar is still on the wall. Ah, we have seen them before in an abandoned place. The cookie boxes. Whoa, damn. This is a lot of glass work. Beautiful. Why would people leave this abandoned? Why wouldn't they take all these glasses out of it? I'm gonna close it again. Okay, so we continue our way. And this was actually the main door of the house. So this was their main hall. They walk inside here. And then over here, they could put their shoes. Still some pretty modern shoes. They look so good. Why would they leave them abandoned? And over here an umbrella for in the windows. If it wasn't that sunny and raining. It's often raining in Belgium and the Netherlands. And over here are all their beautiful coats. There's a lot in this place. But as I already mentioned, it's pretty small. Over here was the bathroom of the people. There is still a drying line with some towels. Oh! And these were all their washing products, even their toothpaste. And what's that? I don't know what that is, but it looks like some poisonous potions. I really don't know. Actually like the tiles. Oh, and this fish is nice as well. And this was the kitchen, and look how rusty this refrigerator is. There's nothing left in it. Actually, surprised me because there's a lot left in this house. Some baking tools, some kitchen equipment. Teapot. What's that? A small toaster. And over there is actually the basement. So let's check it out. Oh, by the way, the proof you guys. Also in the, <laughs> in the kitchen the lights that still work and in the basement as well. So that doesn't make this basement scary. Normally basements are kind of scary but this basement is very small. Okay, I want to show it to you briefly. This was the very small basement. I can barely move myself inside of it. There's still some liquor, a lot. Okay, I'm going back. What? Turn off the light again. I don't want this house to burn down or something because of electricity. And I haven't showed this ones yet. Some china. All right, so let's go to the attic now. That's a little climb. It's pretty hot. I barely fit to it because of my backpack. Okay, so I made it. And what did you found? What's that? Oh. Oh, okay, I made it. 
Okay, look at it guys. The attic is almost the wall upper floor of the house. And also here, light's still working. What is that? I really don't know what this is. If you guys know it, leave it down in the comment section. Oh, there's even a racket left. All right, time to go back. So that was already it for this small house. We also saw that there's a garage next to the house so we're going to check that one out so yeah let's go all right so we're back outside the last thing i promised you we're gonna check the garage hopefully there's still a car or something left you never know in abandoned buildings in belgium but you already saw electricity still works that was pretty amazing all right we're trying to open the garage but it looks like the roots a fully closed garage. I think we can open it almost. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. Check this out. No way. Guys, so we found this abandoned Corvette V8. Look at it. How can this be abandoned? What? I can't believe this car is abandoned. This is the most luxury car. I've ever seen a van in place. You guys probably know this brand. Corvette. Wow. What a car. This is only a car I can dream of. Can we open it? Yeah. We can. Look at the leather seats, guys, in the inside. Oh my God. I really can't believe my eyes. This is the most beautiful car I ever saw in an abandoned house. These people had definitely money. These people were rich. Only wealthy rich people could drive a car like this. Wow, and that's for only a small holiday home. Unbelievable. But I think we can't stay too long here because the neighbors also spotted us. Oh my God. Oh my god, that is my rarest and most coolest find of cars ever in an abandoned building. I really could not believe my eyes that such a beautiful car is just left to rot. I would be so happy with it if I had a car like that, I would be proud, I would show it to my friends. I really don't understand why people leave things crazy, like this. But we closed the garage again in order that not anyone can find it, damage it or steal it and after all beautiful exploration and if you guys liked it please leave the thumbs up I'm with Jan, a friend of mine he also has a YouTube channel, I will put that link down in the description and yeah, then we see you guys on our other exploration next week peace out